just stacking water so I'm able to hydrate. This is at the five mile mark, just after, about, probably about 5.2 miles into today's run. So yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do four today. This is actually my 100 mile training week where I'm gonna run 100 miles in seven days. I've seen a few videos, a few other marathon runners, ultra runners um, say that this is how they train and that they regularly do 100 miles in a week. We're in the process of moving home and I noticed that when filming this, I filmed it on my GoPro. This is day one of my 100 mile in seven days challenge and I waffled on in the car for over an hour on the GoPro. So the first thing is that we're moving home. The council announced to all residents in the area that they're building a six lane motorway pretty much at the end of our village. That's gonna go from the M25 across into Kent uh, and it will connect this part of Essex and London with Kent under the Thames. So it's gonna be a bypass under the Thames. Obviously that's great for the local community, not so great when you get a letter that says pollution's gonna go up, noise pollution, air pollution, all that sort of jazz. So we decided that we're gonna move home, we're gonna up sticks. The downside to that is I didn't get to do any of the challenges that I set out in my um, 2022 challenge video at the beginning of this year. And I'm going to miss running this local area. I've loved running this area so much. Um, it's had some of the best paths and trails and you know I get to run the Thames every day. I live in a part of Essex where the Thames uh, uh, basically hits London. I live just on the edge of London. Uh, and that part of the Thames for me is been a very, very special, spiritual, mindful place. So this is kind of a homage to that, to this local area. I don't really talk very much about how I feel about running. I actually started to make a video and in that video, I started talking about why I love running. I wanted to make another video about uh, why I run. It's been great recently. I've seen on YouTube loads of people making videos about why they're running. Some very slick and professional videos, which this this isn't. I actually made a list as well, so it was a. Uh, so as I ensure that I don't, I don't miss anything. The good thing about where I live, which is just outside London, is that I'm where London meets the country. That's kind of my first point about why I run. I love the routes I do. I get a lot of confidence and enjoyment out of running the same routes. Hang on. I'm lost, properly overgrown, look. It's such, such a beautiful place to run. So pretty. This water tower has featured in almost all of my videos. It's a really hot Sunday. Ah. Oh. That's a good one. The other thing with running is how it makes you feel. It's by far one of the best things you can do that makes you feel so good, but in equal measure, it can make you feel horrendous. I'm 42 years old and when I run, sometimes it makes me feel 42. Sometimes it makes me feel 62. Occasionally, and this comes back to my previous point. It makes me feel fantastic. I feel I run like an 18 year old. I feel I'm fast. I feel fit. I feel slim, which is a feeling I haven't felt for a very long time. When you film yourself feeling fantastic, you feel you're absolutely flying. You then watch it back and you realize how slow you actually are.
10 miles run. It's so warm today. I'm so thirsty. And I never really, I never, I never edited it. I never finished it. And then as I was making it, I realized that almost everything I spoke about in that video, with the exception of, you know, uh, with the exception of very little, I, I ended up talking about the routes that I run. Uh, I've been waffling now for a while on this camera, but that leads me on to my next point, which is I've been procrastinating about this challenge. So in my January video, I said that um, I was going to do three challenges this year. It was going to be the 100 mile training week. My first challenge is going to be the 100 mile training week. I was going to do the Yorkshire Free Peaks because, you know, I failed that attempt when I did that uh, a couple of years ago. I'm going to go back and finish Yorkshire Three Peaks. And I was going to run a uh, marathon distance from my front door where I live now to where my mum and dad live in South East London. I'd like to run from my house to my mum and dad's house. They live in Bermondsey. Uh, it was already going to be a struggle to be able to fit those three challenges in around work and family life, having two young kids. But now that we've decided to move to the complete other side of the county, and we've got that calm now of a couple of weeks where I've got time to do something. So this has been a challenge that I've been procrastinating about for a long time. I set it out in the challenge video in January because I knew that if I said it on social media, I'd have to do it. But because of time scales and two young kids and work and excuses and excuses, I haven't got out there and completed all three of them. But I want to do the 100 mile challenge. I've completed it, by the way. This is, I'm filming this now because as I sat down to edit it, I realised that I was waffling on in that car. So I needed to get some bits down on, uh, on camera. The closest I get to 20 miles today takes the pressure off the rest of the week. This is all about distance. This is just about ticking off 100 miles this week running. My times are never fast anyway. I'm really not bothered about time. Yeah, so so that's the challenge. Um, yeah, I'm a bit nervous about this. This isn't, this isn't an easy one. Day one of seven days of 100 miles. I'm on a loop that is at least 16 miles long with the option to extend, depending on how I feel. Where I'm running now is called Road to Hell. We've named it the Road to Hell. I say we, Maddie, my daughter. I'm coming up to my first water stop, so hopefully some fluids will perk me up. I'm pretty full of water now, I drank far too much there. I mean, let's face it, it's not normal to run these distances without, at some point, your body saying, what the hell are you playing at? I'm listening to a bit of Bob Marley now. So I'm just coming into the docks. I'm at between 13 and 14 miles. Good news is I'm nearly at the 60 mile mark. So I've already hit my target. And I've easily got another four or five miles to go. I stopped. Tracy's coming to meet me up here to run the last couple of miles with me. And I got her. Uh, some blackberries. Are they blackberries or blueberries? Don't Why? Don't film me. What? Don't want to film me. I'm with me. No. I'm with her. No. So I'm at mile 19 now. I've got one mile left to go. 
and Tracy's come to meet me. Right, I'm back now, that's it, 20 miles. Done. I'm not worried about time. It's actually quite a good time to be fair. Um, but I said at the beginning, I'm not gonna worry about time. Um, yeah, that was a good run. I didn't feel great at five miles, but didn't get easier, but I felt better. Yeah, enjoyed that. 20 miles, ticked off, day one. So, this is now day two. Uh, yesterday, I completed 20 miles. Plan for today, so I've got a minimum target today of 12 miles. We had pizza last night. We had takeaway pizza last night for dinner. I burnt over 3,000 calories, so there was no way I was eating 3,000 calories. So I thought, hey, you know, what the heck? Haven't had takeaway pizza in for, for a very long time. Had a relatively early night. Um, up early this morning, so it's an early start this morning. So it's Monday morning, 12 miles today. Let's do this. That's the one mile mark. Dead slow today. My body hasn't warmed up. This is the road to hell again. Back on this route. This here. I'm very lucky to have this. This, this is the nature reserve on the Thames. But it's such a nice place to run. There's so much wildlife you see. It's so quiet. That's six miles down. I've decided to turn around and head back the same way. So I'll do exactly 12. I've just hit the main town. Energy wise, I feel okay. Fitness wise, I feel good. But I've lost some skin on my little toe. I had some hard skin. Uh, I'm not gonna go into details because uh, it's, it's pretty grim, but it's come off. It's detached and it's left me with a bloody sock and a very sore little toe but I'm not going to moan let's keep going that's 10 miles it's a lovely day I still feel pretty good come on I'm at 10 miles Good morning guys, it's about 8 a.m. and it's the third day, day three. This is Tuesday. I've just left the house for my challenge today and today's distance is 15 miles. So Tracy come and met me for the last two miles. So she ran up to me with two miles left when I was at mile 10. I just wanna say for, for, for Tracy's benefit, um, she doesn't watch my videos to be fair. I just wanna say that she's, she's absolutely awesome and without her support, a, a, a ridiculous, you know, a middle-aged man doing ridiculous challenges like this is just non-achievable and quite selfish when you have two kids. I just wanna do a big shout out to Tracy. So I forgot to do an MP3 camera last night after the second run. So yesterday I ran 12.25 miles and uh, I, when I got home I was absolutely done, I was spent. And then the other thing that I wanted to mention was that I sustained an injury yesterday and it's the first injury that uh, I've sustained that's risking my, um, my running. Um, like a callus that's formed on the bottom of my little toe. Where my little toe basically rubs against the inside of the trainer, it built up this hard skin lump under the toe. Cut a long story short, that came off yesterday but not just fell off it, it forcibly came off and took with it a large portion of the underside of my little toe um, basically revealing just flesh um, it's pretty gross but it bloody hurts and when I got in the bath last night I was like uh, I was like Macaulay Culkin in Home Alone other than that I'm in good shape this morning I'm, I'm my, my toe is very sore I've got it I've got it taped up I have spent enough time walking around this field and inadvertently, with the morning dew on the grass, I've got soaking wet feet now. Let's do this. 
Okay, I'm at two mile mark now. I've decided today, oh, there's a car behind me. Hang on, I'm on a narrow road. So I've run up to the fault, which is where the Thames starts, the Thames path, at the end of my village. I'm gonna run along here. I'm gonna run up to the furthest point up there before it becomes muddy trails. Turn around, run back. I mean, there's a good distance there. Yeah, I'm at two miles, still feel good. I actually feel better than I did yesterday. You never ever see anyone on it. Farmers fields on one side, River Thames on the other. The good thing about this path is hundreds and hundreds of blackberry bushes. So if you've forgotten your cliff blocks or your bag of nuts, I'm off. I never carry anything with me, I'm terrible. This is a really steep hill, so my arm's aching from holding the GoPro. This path has been uncared for for the last four years. It only got worse through, it only got worse through lockdown. Just before lockdown, there was a particularly bad uh, flood high tide and it washed a section of the path away back there when I say a section of the path the path was still there but it made it made walking over it like uh, that scene from Indiana Jones where he's walking over the wooden bridge Ouch. and uh, they closed it no one paid any attention to the to the sign that they put up everyone still used it because It's a great path. And instead of repairing it, they just left it for three or four years. Because of the new road they're building under the Thames up here, I'm literally at the point now where the road will travel from over here near where we live now, that's why we're moving, and it will pass under here and then out into the Thames. I feel really good, actually. This is the best I've felt in a long time. I mean, I'm in full on exhaustion mode, complete autopilot, the pace is slow. I'm running, solitude running, nothing, nothing like it. I mean, I love running. I've loved running these park runs in my last video. Officially my park run PB. I ran my first park run and I've run three of them now, all in the same place. I haven't moved around because I'm doing it for convenience. You know, watch the video, it'll explain why. But I've loved running them. And the last park run I ran last week, it had over 400 people running in it, all different capabilities, all different ages. Only 5K, three miles, it's not gonna kill you. So you can do it at whatever pace you wanna do it anyway. But there is, Nothing that can beat a long solitude run like this. I'm now at a really dodgy part, a really dodgy looking part of the Thames Path. It's quite colorful. I'm on a really narrow, uh, path where the Thames is literally just here and at high tide when it floods it comes all the way up to this wall and it leaves loads of flotsam and jetsam I think it's called basically crap that's been washed up so I've just reached the end or the furthest point on this path that I'm prepared to run as I say with a lot of rain it all turns to mud up here my repair my botch job at repairing my toe has come off. I can, well, it hasn't come off, I can feel it loosening. And I know that I'm probably only two miles away from having this bunch of plasters wanging it round in my sock. Oh, and this bloody toe has really put a dampener on this run. If it wasn't for this injury, I'd be in a really good place.
I'm at 11 miles. I've only got four left to go. I actually feel really good. I'm really happy today. I mean, other, other than the, the foot, the toe, which every now and then just goes, F you. Okay, that's it. Done, 15 miles. 2,200 calories burnt. Rehydrate, lots of water, pasta for dinner, and go again tomorrow. End of day three. <clears throat> Good morning, this is day four. Um, oh, I'm not sure, I'm not sure how to approach this. So we're currently at just over 47 miles in three days. The plan was 15 miles today, but my, my toe, the injury on my toe is, um, is getting worse, not getting better. Currently I'm not able to run without a significant limp. Got my dingy socks on to help separate my toes, which is what's caused the problem. I wish I wore them in the first place. And I'm gonna try and see if I can walk and see how I feel. And then if that gets the joints moving and the toe moving and I'm able to deal with it, then maybe we can break into a run. That's the plan for this morning. All right, we're just coming up to two miles and we're running. We're running. I've run, I've run this. I feel okay. I feel all right. I feel okay. Toe, toe's all right. I don't want to make this video about my toe. I don't want the thing to be running with an injury. I want the thing to be running 100 miles in seven days. But you don't realize how much you use your toes when you run until one's immobilized or it hurts to use it. So we're really early this morning, about seven o'clock now. Weather forecast isn't great for today, so I'm hoping the rain stays off. I've just used what can only be described as the cleanest public toilets pre-running. I never used to be a fan of public toilets. Who is? I've avoided them like the play. But as a runner, you inevitably have to get used to it, unless you're on a trail, of course. Um, and they're never clean. So, well done, Carl House Fault. Your toilets are faultless. My camera's playing up. Um, yes, yeah, so we're just coming up to the three mile mark. Energy wise, feel good, as to be expected, better than expected. At the 50 mile mark of the week, halfway, exactly halfway now. I'm really pleased to see all my training and effort, all my short three, you know, five Ks and 10 Ks. I've been working and in my longer runs I'm starting to pay dividends which is great so that's the first point energy levels good uh, fitness wise or my muscles yeah actually better than my energy levels so I'm not having touch wood any issues with my joints with my muscles feel good it's just that one bloody toe but as i've said i'm now at the 50 mile mark. oh i'm over the 50 mile mark we're over halfway i can't stop <sighs> gotta keep going and just hope that weather holds off and it doesn't rain on me
it's a positive run today. I've got another 10 miles to go. So, hopefully it'll stay positive. Last time I filmed myself on this trail here, this bit that leads up to the road to hell, I fell over and bruised my ribs. Friends, I'm at 17 miles now. Um, this is officially, I've just stopped for a second because I've just fallen over. Um, I'm so exhausted, I can't, I'm not picking my feet up properly. I went straight over and I hurt my side. I landed on my arm. I'm, it hurts to breathe. Absolutely exhausted, looking dead into the camera instead of looking at the floor hit a rock, landed on my ribs, bruised them badly. That nearly put a kibosh on my London Marathon attempt. That's it. I'm at 14.9. I'm just running to finish 15 miles. It's been a gruelling five miles. First 10 miles, I'm happy with. I did I did really well. The last five miles, that's just been grit your teeth, get your head down and do it. Very pleased to be hitting that 15 mile mark. I can't wait to get these shoes off. That's it, 15 miles done. This is day five. Um, it's about 6.30 in the morning, still quite early. I'm just I'm walking for five minutes to try and warm my foot up. I'm currently walking with a limp. So I've bandaged my toe to within an inch of its life. It's well bandaged. Um, I've actually used gaffer tape <laughs> because with all the, with all the sweat, um, even with waterproof plasters, they've been coming off. But anyway, this video isn't about my toe. I actually feel energy wise and fitness wise, I actually feel really good today. I had a good night's sleep, really good night's sleep. If it wasn't for this toe, this challenge would be a lot more enjoyable. But anyway, yeah, so today's challenge is 15 miles. So 15 miles will get me to 77, just over 77 miles with two days left to go, which is a really good place to be. Hopefully, I can leave day seven to a sub 10 mile run, which would be a good way to end this video and to end this challenge. But I'm gonna start jogging now to try and get this foot going. Let's do this, 15 miles. You know you're not used to running with an app when it kicks in and scares you. That just made me jump. So I'm at the one mile mark. Going good, now that my toe's kicked in, it's not as stiff and sore now. <sighs> Cleanest toilets, I didn't even need to go. I just saved it to have to run up here and use those toilets. It's a cracking effort, that's our council, fair play. So weirdly enough, when I left my house this morning, I actually felt better physically than I did the last few days. But now that I'm two miles in, I'm feeling it now. The exhaustion feels real early doors. So I'm hoping I've got a lot more in me before that one foot in front of the other endurance event kicks in look at those lights look at those colors probably can't see it on the gopro it's a pretty morning the sun makes a huge difference to your morale so i thought it'd be worth mentioning that i i have asthma i've had it all my life it's not bad 
I don't get asthma attacks or anything like that. I just get a tightening of the chest. And it only ever happens in the morning and in the evening. And obviously when I take my pump, that solves the problem. But I forgot to take it this morning. And I've got a tight chest, as well as being a big guy who's constantly trying to lose weight. It is one of those things. So what has helped hugely has made a huge difference to my asthma and overall well-being is losing weight. I've lost a ton of weight over the last two years, like loads. Still got more to go, especially if I'm going to be doing these endurance events. I'm still too heavy, which is why I f up my feet. Yeah, losing weight has really helped my asthma. Big time. I've just stopped for a second. A good blackberries, bit of a boost. So I'm nearly at the 11 mile mark. Uh, I forgot to mention, so up until this challenge, the furthest I'd ever run in seven days was 65 miles. And that was last year when I was training for the London Marathon. So 15 miles today is officially the furthest I've ever run in a week. So once I've done today, I'll be over 77 miles in five days. Cheers. These waters, I've got like these funky lids, look, you can close them. I've just hit the 12 mile mark. We've got 5K, just a simple little cheeky 5K to get home. Oh, God, today's been a tough one. That's 15 miles, done and dusted. That's five days of running. Ridiculously long distances. I've only got tomorrow to do a 50 miler and then I've got less than 10 miles on Saturday which is going to be a good day but yeah that's it today's done 50 miles done day five complete thank you right this is day five now no hang on this is day this is day six now this is the penultimate run this is my last longest run. Today's plan is 15 miles, and that leaves me eight miles to do tomorrow morning. And I'm limping up the road. Um, I've had a bit of a tactic where I walk for about half a mile. I only start the timer when I start running. So sit rep, injury sit rep. Um, toe is not getting any better. I didn't want to make this video about the injury, but it's all I'm thinking about now. So like, just, just so sore to run on. So what I've done today, um, I've done this previously as well, that happened on day two. Day one and day two feel like a year ago. So what I've done is I've heavily bandaged it up, but I'm just thinking I'm so close to the finish line that I've just got to protect it as best I can. So I've done that. Tracy actually did that for me. She's really good at field triage. And then the other thing I've done is I've changed my trainers today for the first time, which is a risky move. So my other trainers, my hokers that I wear, I know are really good. The reason why I've changed my trainers is the ones I've put on now have more space. Professional runners call it a larger toe box. Good thing is yesterday's run was actually one of my best times pace wise. Um, first 10 miles was excellent. It's only those last five miles I'm really starting to struggle. Fitness wise, I feel good. Energy wise, I feel good. Positivity wise, psychologically, I feel good. 
Um, I'm starting to get that buzz. I'm coming to the end now of this run. Makes me feel good. Um, that's it really, look, I'm, I'm wasting time. I need to get this run done. I'm putting it off because I just don't, that first mile on this toe is agony. Workout. I've just slammed the brakes on. Um, I, I've just reached a water tower and they've removed, I thought, I thought there's something different here. They've removed, look. Either this is, hang on, let me hit restart. Please hit behind me, it's gone. Now let me explain. Resuming workout. There was a, a barrier, a proper installed metal barrier to stop people coming along this path they've now removed it that was there yesterday that's just blown my mind i was literally moaning about it the other day and there's absolutely nothing unsafe about this footpath they just can't be asked to fix it they've left to sign up probably cost them more in putting those fences in than it did repairing the footpath there was where the other end of the uh, sign the barrier on the path was gone. We removed it. This hill, I'm running up a hill trying to talk. Oh my God, she's grueling. With the sun over my shoulder, silhouetting me. I feel good. I do feel good. I'm enjoying today. And what's making a difference? Sunshine. Oh God. So much better to run in the sun. There's no rain forecast for today. The temperature should be good. No complaints. Let's keep going. I want this challenge to end. I've enjoyed it. It's been a great challenge. I'm doing it for absolutely no other reason. Oh, that guy on the bike scared me. He came right up behind me and then felt really bad for scaring me. I want this challenge to end. It's been a great challenge, I've enjoyed it. I've done it for no other reason other than it's, I wanted to say, I wanted to say I've done it. Also, I hadn't done any of the other challenges this summer that I'd planned because we're moving home. And that was a, that was a unplanned event this year. Yeah, that, that trumped everything. You know, I had to prioritize the family. Honestly, they're like a treat. Um, I don't know why I'm looking at my watch. That's a 1980s Casio digital watch. Literally just tells the time. Distance, 13 miles. Okay, we're done. We did 15 miles today. So that leaves eight miles to do tomorrow. There's our sold sign. I'm limping, I could sit rep on the foot toe isn't getting any better with the fact oh, I just forgot my sunglasses positive now so this is day seven this is the last day I've only got eight miles I've got my music my other power beats ran out of battery forgot to charge them looking forward to this day seven of a hundred flipping miles hundred miles in a week hundred miles in seven days right let's do this <laughs> Halfway. 
so that's it day seven complete uh, 100 miles this week I got my tactics spot on so distance wise last Sunday starting with 20 and then doing 12 on Monday 15 Tuesday 15 Wednesday 15 Thursday 15 yesterday to finish on an 8 today was perfect it's the end of this challenge thanks for watching I appreciate it I can't believe I've done a hundred miles hundred miles in seven days that's unbelievable I'm absolutely over the moon I'm so pleased it's finished but it's been such a good challenge I can rest my toe now okay I've bit the bullet I bought hydration vest I now feel like a proper runner however like a five-year-old I filled it with orange squash 